Hey guys, welcome to the first week of my 100 week art challenge. My name is Michael and I'm sharing my artistic exercises and exploration here in my videos. This week I completed three personal paintings and illustrations out of my imagination. The first two were inspired by my cat. One is him being delivered in the Amazon box, another one is my cat being drawn as a Chinese dragon. And the last one is a super fun illustration of a person flying over the city of Beijing to reach a giant bowl of Chinese ramen noodles. I'm going to share my inspirations and the process over painting time lapses. So the first painting I did this week was an illustration featuring my cat Wally, imagining him being delivered by Amazon and came out of the box with a lot of excitement. I first began sketching on iPad Pro in an app called Procreate. It feels quite natural to be able to draw directly on the screen. I used to only work on an Wacom tablet, which is connected to my computer, and I always had to guess where my brushstrokes were going to be. So being able to draw on the screen directly is a very nice upgrade. However, as you can see, I moved on to painting on my computer in Photoshop because I am more comfortable with using the bigger screen for the painting phase. As for my cat, I have had him for about 10 months now, and I had always wanted to do some paintings about him. So one day I was looking at Wally playing in one of the Amazon boxes laying around, and I just thought, wouldn't it be nice if I paint a cat being delivered by Amazon in a box, kind of just magically pop out of the shipping box with white eyes. I used some reference photos I took of my cat, and uh, since I got him when he was already one year old, I always wondered what he looked like when he was a kitten. So I made his head a little bigger in the painting and his features uh, resemble more of a younger cat. For this painting, I used a textured brush, which I found online a while ago. It has a very nice texture to it, and at the same time, it's very rich and smooth. It kind of resembles gouache painting a lot. I did a lot of painting using gouache pigment when I was a kid, so it's very nice to have that kind of texture back when I'm doing digital painting. Now, Kyle Webster's brushes have been incorporated into Photoshop CC for free, so it's super easy to get all sorts of amazingly natural looking textured brushes right inside Photoshop. It took me about five hours to complete this painting, and it's sped up 40 times here. But hopefully you can still see the progression. I spent a lot of time on the details of the cat, to make sure it actually looks like my cat and also look natural in terms of his gesture and expression. I decided to add the flying packing peanuts while sketching when I realized that it might add a nice flow to the direction of movement as well as add more context to the story. I subconsciously chose the blue-yellow color theme, which I think is pleasing to the eyes, and I used some muted color to give it a washed watercolor or a paler pastel kind of feeling. The funny thing is that I spent so much of my time before taking online art classes and doing painting exercises. This painting is still one of the first paintings I ever did out of my imagination and out of pure self-expression. It just felt so freeing and so much fun during the creative process. And uh, it also doesn't hurt that I'm actually super happy to see how it turned out. And I think I'm going to make a high quality fine art print for it to decorate the room. Here you can see a comparison of the sketch versus the final painting. Now let's move on to my second painting for this week. It's another digital painting inspired by my cat Wally, and I made him look like a Chinese dragon. Again, I did the sketch in Procreate on my iPad. It took me a while to figure out how the body should twist and turn and still look natural. I also decided to add the Space Needle from Seattle in there. I was thinking, why not? I have seen too many major cities being attacked by sci-fi monsters, and it's about time that Seattle gets one as well. I got this painting idea because I was very surprised how long a cat can stretch its body and sometimes my cat even looks like a snake or a Chinese dragon when he tries to hunt with his paws and bounce around the house. 
It was the Chinese New Year only a few weeks ago, so I figured it would be super fun to make a painting of my cat looking like a Chinese dragon. I also tried to pay tribute to the recent hit Chinese movie The Wandering Earth, which is based on a very famous sci-fi novel in China. It's about people trying to move the Earth away from the solar system because the sun is going to implode soon. And when the Earth gets close to the Jupiter, it unfortunately got pulled towards it by Jupiter's gravity. It had some amazing special effects and uh, therefore the spinning Jupiter in the distance of my painting. I was pretty excited about this painting idea, but it didn't turn out to be as cool as I had thought, which happens a lot. I felt it looked a bit cheesy. I tried to put more shapes, texture, and colors on the subject, as well as the environment. It certainly helped over time. I spent about eight hours on this painting, and near the end, I just felt that something was missing. I eventually added more ground and brush strokes to indicate a blizzard, which helped to make the painting literally more grounded and more dramatic as well. These final adjustments were not recorded in the video, but they were shown in the final image. For this painting, I used the same textured Photoshop brush as the first painting. Uh, by the way, I just watched How to Train Your Dragon yesterday in the theater, and I can't get over the fact that the main dragon character, Toothless, looks and acts so much like a black cat. I'm sure the character designers and animators drew a lot of inspiration from felines. And here again is a comparison between the sketch versus the final painting. I'm sure I sound like a crazy cat person now, so let's move on. Last painting I'm going to show you I did this week is a piece of illustration, which is a lot more complex and interesting. It's a giant bowl of Chinese ramen spilled over and flying around the evening sky of Beijing. And a person is flying towards the bowl, holding humongous chopsticks in his hands. Ever since I came to the States eight years ago, I have never stopped craving for authentic Chinese noodles, especially the cheap ones from my hometown. So I got this idea of drawing a person being wrapped by a long strand of ramen noodle and drawn to a giant bowl in the distance. My original idea was just that, very simple. While sketching, I decided to bring it up a notch by adding the city of Beijing underneath with all of my favorite historic and landmark buildings lying around. I lived in Beijing for four years, attending my university, and I have visited all of these buildings before. I think the most interesting ones are still the ancient bright yellow, red wooden structures in the Forbidden City drawn in the foreground and the Temple of Heaven on the bottom right corner. I have always been more interested in Western painting styles done by the old masters, and my childhood art education were also focused around Western style paintings and art fundamentals. Quite recently, I suddenly felt inspired by Chinese artists and decided to embrace Asian styles and elements in my work. This illustration specifically was also inspired by Shen Zhang's illustrations. I was amazed by the imagination and intricacy in his work. The explosive colors, detailed line work, and bold use of perspective are very inspiring. This is my first time trying to work on an illustration piece like this with a lot of detailed line work, so I naturally ran into a lot of technical challenges. It took me a while to get a hang of drawing smooth curvy lines on my iPad. I certainly gained a new respect for professional illustrators who routinely produce super intricate artworks with amazing details. It also took me a lot of time finishing up the coloring. I painted in all of the colors stroke by stroke while trying to stay within the line work. If I decided to create more illustrations in this kind of style in the future, I absolutely need to improve my techniques and efficiency, and perhaps invest in a Wacom Cintiq tablet down the road as well to draw the lines more easily. This illustration took me a whopping 25 hours to complete. I was super excited about how this illustration came to be. The funny thing, however, is that when I showed it to my friends, multiple people thought the bowl in the distance was a giant bird. The noodles were seen as feathers, the spilling broths were regarded as wings. I realized that the bundle of noodles were too feather-like, and the broths on each side were too symmetric. 
it's a cool coincidence, but I still wanted people to immediately recognize the bowl and the noodles. So I revised the noodle bundle near the bowl into a weaving structure and removed some of the broth on each side to make the round bowl more easily recognized. Here's the sketch versus the final illustration again. Also, a friend of mine thought that the colors were a bit too saturated and cartoony for her taste. So I created another version with more muted and less contrasty colors. And here is the line work. This wraps up the work I had done for the first week of my 100 week art challenge. I think it's a pretty good start and I'm eager to finish this video so I can get back to drawing and painting. I hope you enjoyed the artworks along with the inspiration and process I just shared. Please give this video a like, and if you have any questions, please comment below. I'd love to hear from you. If you are interested in seeing future updates of my 100 week art challenge, please hit the subscribe button and check out my other videos. Thank you and have a wonderful week.